Good afternoon, YouTubers. Um, right, gotta to talk to this bloke. Ah, oh, crap, I can't talk to him. Oops. Okay, that did not work as planned. I am sorry that I messed that up. I genuinely thought I would have been able to talk to him. Oh, wow. Um, right, so instead... I've had about enough! Um... He's had about enough. Okay. I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. Okay. Let's nickel this crap. Nickel this crap. Oh. I actually really wanted to talk to that bloke as well. Come in, Witcher. Oh, well. I wish you to feel at ease, as this is an unofficial audience. You help me in the mist, thus I surmise you do not seek my death. Which leads me to ask, what you do seek here, Geralt of Rivia? Um, do I seek justice or peace and quiet to clear my name? I seek justice. Justice? A slippery thing, I'd say. It really depends on your point of view. So, you claim you did not kill Foltest. Do you know who did? Yes. A witcher named Letho. Do you know each other? I don't know. I don't know. I have amnesia. Letho has suggested he knows something about me. It's possible we met before. There's an old kid when he's saying, a bitch will never bite another bitch. 100% accurate where sorceresses are concerned. To the matter at hand, sire. <laughs> De Tarnasaville claims this Letho is in the area. Is that true? Yes. How the hell would I know that? What does he want here? My head? He's hiding from Yorbit and his Scoyatel. I don't know his plans. And you aim to get him? I do. I do. Last question. Do you know who had Foltest and Demavend assassinated? Who's behind the Kingslayers? I don't know, but I'll find out when I find Letho. My spies have confirmed your words. I suppose I must believe you. Now to the other matter. The mist, the wraiths, all that magic shit <laughs> holding off my campaign. All that magic shit. My mages, as usual, have proved useless. They blather on about higher magic, delayed curses, and other hogwash. But nothing comes of it. This matter must be settled with a sword. A witcher's sword. Will you manage this task? Um... Go for it. Yeah, I'll manage. Excellent. Lift the curse, and you'll learn the meaning of royal generosity. And even should you fail to catch this Letho, I shall help you clear your name. Thank you, my Consider please. Deathmold at your disposal. He'll give you all the necessary information. Also, you are free to move about the camp and its environs from now on. Very well. Now, leave me alone. Um... For that the curse was cast three years ago. Any sign it's been active in the interim? Is that important? Sire, we're not talking about a fortune told in a tent on market day, nor about some curse cast by a novice mage. This curse caused a solar eclipse and summoned hordes of specters. <laughs> we're dealing with a complex spell that operates at several levels. Uncommon knowledge and skill were required to cast it. Lifting it will be even more difficult. If I'm going to deal with it, I need you to cooperate. Ah, the plague. So be it. Um, fine. Sire, do you know who cast the curse? As we forged our way through the fog, you claimed it was Glevisig's curse. Sabrina Glevisig's. She was a sorceress, my former advisor. I ordered her bound to a wagon wheel and burned alive. While dying, she cursed me and my lineage. That was three years ago. Um, what did you condemn her for? What did you condemn Sabrina for, Sire? One year after the Peace of Sintra, I fought Demervin for Lormark. General Vandergrift commanded a part of my force. He forded the Pontar and joined battle on this field. It raged until evening when Sabrina Glevesig decided to take matters into her own hands. Fireballs rained down onto the battlefield. Three thousand men turned to bloody charred meat scraps. Yeah. The fire consumed Kedwenis and Adernians alike. Knights boiled alive in their armor. Mad beasts howling with pain. That sounds horrible. War is for the honorable. When the likes of Levisig enter the fray, it turns into hell. Um, 
Why did Sabrina attack her own side? What drove Sabrina to attack her own army? Any specific reason? I've heard none, not even speculation. She was my advisor, a member of the Council of Mages. For years I was forced to tolerate her excesses, schemes, court scandals. Was she loyal? Ha! <laughs> Only to herself. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm drinking a cup of tea at the same time, so that's probably what you hear if it, like, clunks on it all. Um, how exactly did Sabrina curse you? Sire, do you remember the curse itself? What exactly did Sabrina say? All she said at the time has been fulfilled to some degree. A star adorned with a bloody braid will cut across the heavens. Square coins from maritime depths will beguile the hearts of fools. Coins? Deathmold found a few such coins among soldiers accused of treason. Um, right. Well, farewell, Your Majesty. Okay. Level up! Holy schmoly! Um, what's that? Vigor. Mm. <laughs> Not bothered about any other signs, I don't think. Uh, heliotrope sign. Activated once the adrenaline bar is completely charged. It allows the generation of adrenaline signs. That does not really help me figure out what the bloody hell it's ringing. Can you hear that? It's pretty loud. Um, what's this? Bomb damage. Potion duration. More ingredients. Just potions, pretty much, in it. Yeah, I think I'm going for more of the sword side of things. Unlocks the ability to deal damage to many opponents. Additional opponents take 50% of the damage. Yeah, I'll go for that. So I mean, I can actually like whack him with my sword. Oh. Witcher, a word, if you will. Obviously, I was going to talk to you anyway, you tit. Quick save. Oh, fine then. I'll go in this tent. There's not even anything in there. God dang it. You fooled me, Dathmold. You fool. You have Learn. no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True. I have no idea. Better times approach, Geralt. You shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not really. Oh. Wonderful. I feel we shall become great friends. I do not. Time will tell. Let's get to work. That remains to be seen. Shake my hand, Geralt, to mark the beginning of our friendship. Uh, don't worry. I've no poison needle up my sleeve. Have your way. Ah, I believe poison. one can learn much about a man from his handshake. Learned anything? You have the handshake of a warrior. Strong, decisive, dominating. You're the conquering type. The kind women love. I was asking about the curse. Oh, of course. <laughs> what would you like to know? Um, lifted any curses before? Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears and a tail. Another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Clevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. Hmm. You've done your homework. Uh, how does the blood curse work? Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight, surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. In fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Rees and Margarita Lointil, Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. Say what? All right, I'll read them. Quite a tome. Um, what's with the coins? We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Why do I even Positive. bother reading it? Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. 
How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevesig was part of that team. Small world, and one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Covil. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. Oh, I thought it would have been a woman. prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. Um, not all spectres were aggressive, did you notice that? Did you notice that not all the spectres were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for spectres? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay. Grab your sword and start reversing. <laughs> I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them. Apart from which, I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Um... Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest. Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Cleversig wishes Henselt to wait for imminent death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Henselt may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. Um... If I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. All right, let's get to work. help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. I'll need a number of protective rooms to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunk foil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots. They're silver vases of Naziah. Last of all, give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing? Drinking ale and fondling the camp women? Yes. There's that, yes. <laughs> Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? Someone foretold it, how do you know? The only diviner I've ever trusted told me. Interesting. Wouldn't that be... A drunkard and a fool in love. He's dead. But keep your nose out of my past. Right, thanks for watching. I hope, to, I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you all again next time. Toodle pep.